What's going on guys? It's Evan and Carter back here. We threw up on our Instagram stories to you guys to ask us some questions about content creation, business and stuff like that. So we thought we'd come on here and, and uh, answer these questions. We're going to choose like the best questions we got asked. We're going to answer them, give our opinions on these questions and we'll go from there. Okay. So the first question is how important is it to post content on multiple platforms? I think this, we can both take a stab at this one. I think it's very important to post across every platform, even if it's the same video, just hit every platform like YouTube shorts, LinkedIn, Instagram shorts, because you never know on what platform it's going to blow up on. And like it all it takes is one video to blow up to get that connection or get that inquiry from someone. And then next thing you know, you're working for your dream company or working for your dream job. So post across all platforms and Carter knows about this, but stay consistent. I'm awful at that because I can't do it like he does, but. Yeah, staying consistent is the number one thing when posting in general. All depends, like, obviously, if you're going for extreme, extreme quality over quantity. Even if you want to stay consistent, post one video every two weeks. Well, consistently post one video every two weeks. You never know where someone's going to see you. Someone might only watch shorts. Someone might only watch reels. So, for instance, I've had, you know, business owners reach out because they saw a video on LinkedIn. You never know where someone can qualify you from a platform, where someone can see you on a platform. And it's not like it's any extra work. You just take the exact same video. Okay, the next question is, how long did it take you to get to 10K a month? And what was your biggest struggle to get there? Okay, that's all Carter. <laughs> it actually took a lot longer than you'd think. It's not some crazy sick story where it was like the first 60 days yeah. and just absolutely skyrocket to the magical number of 10K a month. Uh, it took a long time, probably like a year and a half. I don't remember an exact date when I hit the first 10K a month. From like a service delivery aspect, that was the hardest thing because you kind of jump into a business with a service you don't really fully understand. So it was not churning and burning clients. It was just a constant, you're at 5K a month and then you lose a client, you sign a client, you lose a client, you sign a client, you lose a client, you sign a client, same thing over and over and over again. So the biggest thing was figuring out how to yeah. keep client retention consistent. and so, yeah. stay consistent with keeping clients. So to keep it short, around a year and a half and the biggest struggle was service delivery, keeping client retention and just consistently building that. All right, next question. Someone wanted to know what settings I use to shoot my sports videos. So it kind of depends on what exactly I'm shooting and I kind of go into every shoot with a vision, but mainly I keep everything around 60 frames per second because you can slow it down. Whereas if I'm shooting like a short film or a regular YouTube video, I'm at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, you can't slow that down later in post. But if you know you want to get like some super slow-mo shots, if your camera's able, then go to 120 or 240 if your camera can do it. But 60 frames per second, and I like to keep my shutter speed at about double my frame rate. So for all you geek heads out there with cameras, if you're at 60 frames per second shooting, double your shutter speed to 120, 125, and you'll get that natural motion blur in front of the camera. Yeah, what I usually do is... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> According to my last video titled, I quit SMMA, have you closed Versatile Agency? No, I didn't. I was just saying that I always started new ventures. That was it. Versatile Agency is alive and well. And also, I get a question this a lot, like just from people in the town. I don't have anything to do with Versatile Agency. I'm not a owner, CEO, or anything. I strictly just help Carter with service, such as like editing videos or helping him take videos as like a third party consultant. <laughs> yeah. Because he's a bot video, with the camera. And videos for clients and commercials yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I actually get that question a lot too. Yeah. Everyone I, thinks we're like partners or something. I know. Like I, I literally get like every time is, do you work first agency? And it's such a, it's a yes, but no. I don't have anything. Like I don't have a stake in the business. I am strictly just a videographer or editor for Carter's clients. And that's about it. Okay. So next question. Good you. Good. So the next question is, what are your thoughts on spending all your time enjoying your early 20s versus spending all your time grinding in your early 20s? Okay, so the current mindset for that is to grind in your 20s just to build a foundation for your 30s and 40s so that when you look back, you're happy you did it and you're living the life that you want to live instead of just necessarily enjoying your 20s and not doing anything because like you said earlier, we were talking about this. There's risks obviously you have to sacrifice when grinding, but the risks aren't that bad, especially at, you know, a young age, like 20 and we're still, you know, we're, we're not doing anything too crazy. Like we're still living at home or whatever. So it's all good. Yeah. I think my take is obviously to grind in your twenties, to build that foundation for when you're 30, 40, cause you're still young at that age and then you can do whatever you want. Essentially. It's also not like we're making sacrifices really. Like I, I love what I do. So it's not the same with you. You love yeah, what you're doing. So exactly. I enjoy the day to day basis yeah. of working. You know, if I have to miss the odd Chuck's night out or sports center or going to a patio, 
I'm fine with that because most likely I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing anyways. And we don't really make the big sacrifices of missing like the Canada Day party exactly. or anything like that. Do what you love and it doesn't really matter because you, you're you not hating it at the end of the day. I'd rather do something I love and make less money than absolutely hate what I do and do it for the rest of my life. So This is the hardest hitting question of the whole video. All 75,000 people in Sault Ste. Marie are wondering the exact same thing. How did Evan Johnson film with the Detroit Lions? How did it happen? How'd you get there, Evan? What happened? How'd you get to the Detroit Lions? You know what? Funny enough, rewind to when this guy said making sacrifices and not going out to Chuck's Roadhouse or to the Canada Day party or whatever. You know, if I have to miss the odd Chuck's night out or sports center or going to a patio. I was actually sitting in a Chuck's Roadhouse with my friends having half off appetizers after nine o'clock when I got the text message from a trainer with the Detroit Lions who had got my name through an athlete at the school I'm currently studying at and they needed content. And he said, hey, you're local. Can you come out and film? And I said, sure thing, I'll be there. And that was basically it. Shout out Rob. Got to meet all the boys. Filmed basically with their entire secondary. Met some cool characters like CJ Gardner Johnson played in the Super Bowl last year. Okay, next one is how do I start a career in video editing and photography? I'm in no position to tell someone how to start a thing because I'm also just starting out and I've really only been doing this for about a year, year and a half. Like, not even professionally, but like taking it serious. But my biggest piece of advice is to just start. Like, go pick up a camera and go shoot. For example, I want to do sports videography, but I didn't have anything on my portfolio, so I DM'd a local team at my in my hometown and said, hey, do you want a free video? Did it for them, and then that led to every other thing after it. So just go out there and shoot. Just start shooting. I guess also take all this with a just as a drop in the bucket because we're not really in any position no. to be like giving out advice on most of the stuff like this. We're just doing it strictly for fun. Yeah. It was fun to, to take these videos and have this as a time capsule and answer questions that people are curious about. But as far as like actual hard hitting advice and questions, yeah, we're still figuring it I'm out. I'm still figuring out. I still Quite have so much to learn. The podcast is figuring it out. So yeah, we're like, who knows what's going to happen. We're just really attempting to figure it out. We're literally figuring it out. The podcast. Okay, go ask a question. Next question. This is strictly a question just for Evan. Have you always been interested in video videography, even from a young age? I'll try and keep it as simple and sweet as possible. Growing up, I did everything from A to Z. I was doing videos, magic tricks, skateboarding, skiing, uh, solving Rubik's Cubes, like, right? Doing everything. And nothing stayed consistent. I would do one thing, get really good at it, and move on to the next thing the next month. But one thing that stayed consistent through all of that was I would film it all. Okay, well, like I can put out stuff and make stuff that I'm proud about and then people can connect to it and make them feel nostalgic or whatever. It's That's kind of what kept me going and went away from school with it and now I'm doing it as a job. So that's kind of it. <laughs> questions this way. Well, that's all the questions for now. Um, thanks for everyone who participated. Yeah, if you're watching it, on my channel we just crossed a million subscribers so thank you everyone for subscribing yeah thanks for tuning in if there's anyone in Sault Ste. Marie area that you would like us to interview drop it in the comments who would you want us to talk to is there any business that you guys actually care about or want to hear about we'll go interview them subscribe to Carter's channel subscribe to my channel check us out on Instagram shoot us a DM if you have any questions for me please keep it video like detailed because that's all I really know and for this guy keep it S-M-M-M-A-M-S-M-A-A related. That's all I got to say. Peace.